What's up everybody? Tyron Johnson back, working on our game again. Gotta make them pay. Today we're talking about getting better with finishing by using different pickup options, right? So when would you use a pickup option? You use the pickup option when you're going to the rim and you're trying to get a layup. So while you're attacking the rim, you got defenders all around you, you got help side defense, and sometimes you got your own even offensive players in your way. You want to protect that ball. So how do you protect the ball is by creating a pickup. Right, so that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about the different options you have off the pickup and what they mean, when to use them, and how to use them. So let's go. So the first pickup we're talking about, we're talking about the low pickup. You're going to sweep, low pickup. You see a lot of these guys, Kyrie Irving is like one of the best guys when it comes to pickup and the different variations of pickup. AI was a good one. You got so many great scores and they do these little things that you guys just don't pay attention to that's so important. So the first one we're going to talk about is the low pickup. So the low pickup is basically, you driving, walk with me camera, you driving, as you driving, you killing the ball down low, right? When I say kill a ball, means that when I do it full speed, I'm right here, boom, boom. That's a low pickup, right? So imagine you got help side coming on the side. So I just come here, boom, make a move, boom. And you finishing up top, right? You wanna make sure that you don't bring the ball up and then bring the ball back down. A lot of guys do this. No. It's not quick, that's not strong, it's not aggressive and it's not explosive. But if you're down here, boom, catch it, boom, finish up top, all right? That's the low pickup. So when you do the low pickup, another point that you need to pay attention to is, as you do it, boom, you are actually creating some contact with a defender. You don't have a defender here, so we'll do this drill. You come here, dribble, dribble, make a move, boom, boom, finish, right? That's the low pickup. Now we're going with the high pickup. The high pickup is basically so that you can get skinny, right? We got a point guard on our team named Frank Mason. Every time I drive on him, he's always trying to slap down because he's, he's short. I'm 6'7". So whenever I drive, he always try to slap the ball down. One way to avoid that is getting a high pickup. So when I come, I'm raising the ball up high and I'm getting skinny. Whew. Bang, that's the high pickup, right? So the way I do it is, come, make a move, boom, 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 get skinny, finish, right? You can do this in traffic sometimes. Sometimes you can do this in traffic. It might be a guy right here, you got your guy on you on your hip, got a guy right here coming, Guy coming up for help, you up here. You can get into a floater. You can do many things off the high pickup. So I want you to do here, come here, make a move. One, two, boom, boom. Finish. Keep that ball up high though. The next pickup is the side cradle, right? You're just cradling the ball. You can cradle the ball like this, or you can cradle the ball to the side. The first one we're gonna talk about is the side cradle. So I'm coming here, got somebody on my hip, Boom, boom, and then I'm finishing with the then I'm finishing with the layup. This one is kind of dangerous though. A lot of times, the ball can get right here, sweat can get on the ball, right? That's a little thing. What you're doing is you basically, as you're using that side cradle, you coming using this this off arm, use it to be vicious, use it to be very very aggressive. So when I come, boom, using my hip to get into my defender. And I'm gonna give him a little, a little chicken wing. I'm gonna give him a little chicken wing, a little quick little chuck so that I got more room to finish at the basket. So it looks like this. Make a move, boom, boom, boom. Finish just like that. Boom, 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 boom. So the next one is the Allen Iverson. I call it the Allen Iverson cradle because I seen him do it a lot. So you got a lot of guys Trying to, whenever you become a big time scorer, you have a lot of people trying to stop you. So whenever you get in the paint, that's gonna be help everywhere, hands everywhere. I think the best and the most safe way that you can really protect the ball on your pickup is by cradling the ball. So when you drive to the paint, you get into the paint, you cradle in the ball. They gotta file you to get this ball, right? You gotta be strong with it. So we come in here, boom, make a move, boom, boom, boom. Finishing, right? That's how you get through a lot of contact. That's how you get through a lot of 
hand slaps. A lot of guys just messing up your whole flow to get into the basket to make a layup. If you cradle the ball to protect it, you go up strong. Probably get an and one in this situation too. The last one is the wide pickup option. So sometimes you just got guys that's just trying to swipe and you just gotta avoid them, right? So you come into the basket on the wide, coming, you're making a move, boom, you can do this with the one hand if you're strong enough, if you can do that, right? Or you can do this, boom, finish like that way, right? That's called the wide, the wide pickup. Gotta be careful because this is a, a more riskier option because the ball is so pointed out, you don't know somebody could be behind you, they can smack it out of your hand. But it's good to avoid little guys in, in underneath the basket trying to get those quick slips, those quick steals. So I come, boom, boom, make a move, boom. That's simple, that's the wide, that's the wide pickup. All these pickup options are very good. I mean, there's not one pickup option that you should do over the other. They're used in different situations. The thing is, as you become a better driver, you'll start getting comfortable with a certain type of pickup. Once you get comfortable with that pickup, get great at it. You don't have to know all of these different pickups. Long as you get the ball in the basket, we focus on you getting the ball in the basket, we're not worrying about you looking pretty. We're worrying about you getting buckets. Buckets get you paid. Buckets get you paid, all right? So, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, let me know what you think. If you want more drills, I got a free weekly workout on my website, tyronjohnson.com. I'll leave the link below for you guys to download that PDF, get to work, get, getting better, staying in the gym, staying outside. Remember, every day, make them pay.